guys, it's Lizzie. So today I'm going to be doing a book review uh, because one of my things for 2016 is I kind of want to like expand the types of books I'm reading. So I picked up something a little bit different. Uh, end of 2015, like from July on, I was reading a ton of fantasy, which is great. I love sci-fi fantasy, all that. I'm reading a sci-fi book right now on my iPad, but I picked up a more contemporary or not contemporary realistic fiction I guess is the best word for it um book that has to do with some darker themes so before I get into the review I do want to put out a warning this uh does have a trigger warning for eating disorders um grieving the loss of someone and I think those are the only two so grief that is kind of handled poorly and um, eating disorders. So if any of that is going to trigger you, please click out of this. I do not want to trigger anyone with this, but I am going to talk about the book some, so I did want to give that warning out there. So the book that I read is Perfect by Natasha Friend. Now this book I didn't know a lot going into it because I picked it up for like a dollar at half price books, mainly on the premise alone. Now this book is about a girl named Isabel, and Isabel was caught by her younger sister purging. Now Isabel is dealing with binge purge disorder and so uh, when her sister catches her she tells her mom thinking Isabel is sick and then Isabel's mom figures out that it's not that she's sick she is binge purging. So she puts her into a therapy group as part of the deal and the story starts with that. So the beginning of the book Isabel is caught and she goes into this group. Once she's at this group therapy session the most popular girl in her middle school walks in and at that point she just kind of is like pretty sure that this girl Ashley is only there to spy on the group or do a scene or do a research project or something like that um not knowing that Ashley also is dealing with binge purge disorder now this book overall focuses on the friendship between Isabel and Ashley, um, the relationships between Isabel and her mom and younger sister, and the death of her father that happened two years prior to this that her mom is still kind of reeling from and her sister doesn't know how to cope with it because her sister was really young, but also Isabel is so angry at her younger sister for turning her in, um, so she doesn't always get to act as the best older sister. Um, and it kind of focuses on that. Now this book overall drew me in because I wanted to read something different, obviously. But throughout the story it kind of kept me intrigued. I was like, I read the first four chapters last night when I should have been doing homework, but I literally was reading it and being like, reading, reading, flipping a page, being like, Lizzie, why are you doing this? You have homework. So I put it down after the first four chapters, but even throughout the day today and at work, I did want to get to finishing this just to find out what kind of happens. Um, I did like her writing style for the most part. It seemed very teenagerish. It fit the character, but it still told the story. Um, I felt like a couple points in the plot kind of fell a little flat just because you've got the overall theme of her trying to figure out this eating disorder because for the first half of the book she's very like animate like I'm gonna stick with this. I'm just gonna go to the group and be there. Um, and then she and Ashley start to hang out and she kind of realizes that she's not alone in this. Like she and Ashley have a, a lot that is very similar except for the fact that her parents don't watch her as much as Isabel's mom starts to and like Isabel's mom tries to help her but Ashley also introduced her to laxatives and uh, says like you know, you got to be careful or else you're going to really screw up your system. And that kind of starts to get to Isabel and she starts to realize, you know, like maybe Ashley isn't the person to talk with her about this or, you know, isn't really helping her. And so when Isabel kind of hits that point, she is like, oh, ooh, hmm, which I liked. I did like that part, but there were a lot of points where it kind of like, seemed like the same scene over and over again just kind of changed slightly so I felt like a little bit less of that could have been put in 
Um, I know it was supposed to show like their growing friendship and all that, but it just kind of pulled away from the main plot of the story and just kind of like made it sit stagnant. Um, and I'll be honest, a couple times I scanned over some of it, read the dialogue, and moved on because I was like, I've read this scene like four times already. So that part did get to me a little bit. Um, something else that kind of got to me is I dealt with not binge purge, but binge disorder a little bit and I still do every now and then um so it did connect with me in a way because you know seeing a girl who uh, kind of same age that I started um having binge purge but then you see her get to this point that she kind of starts to make a change and starts to make an effort and I think at the age this is aimed for because this is a middle grade novel I believe it's I mean, it's the main character is in eighth grade, so um, aimed for middle schoolers. And I think if I had picked this up when I was that young, I don't know if I would have connected with it so much because I am on the path of getting away from it and I'm not really binging anymore. So now I connect with it because I see her like making the effort and I see how hard it is because I know how hard it is. But I don't know if I would have connected as well with it when I was the age this is aimed for because at that point I didn't really want help and this even though like after it finishes there's like 10 pages or so about like 10 steps to positive body image what are eating disorders you know numbers you can call and all this other stuff and like well yes that does make an effort and it might help some people for someone like me when I was at that point I was like I don't really need help because I only binged I didn't binge purge and so I would have been like I'm fine I'm not at her point um which is not okay like I do not condone that at all that is not what I'm trying to say with this but I do feel like because of the fact that three-fourths of it focuses so much on her just like continuing with it and not changing I think at the time that I would have been reading this at or the age I would have been reading this I would have been like, cool, she sticks with it, I don't need to finish this book, I already know she's going to stay with it. And it wouldn't have given me the same sort of lessons or ideas or anything like that. So this book was well written, I did continue to read it, I finished it obviously, um, but I only gave it 3 out of 5 stars, I just didn't think it was super amazing. While it was a good read, it's not something I'm going to read again. And some of the aspects at the end seemed kind of rushed because the first like three fourths were kind of the same stories being told over and over again and then the last fourth of the book was like surprise other aspects we're going to talk about real quick so not my favorite book but one that i did read so if you guys have read perfect by natasha friend let me know down in the comments what you thought about it or if you disagreed with me if you agreed with me just let me know what you thought uh, if you like this video make sure to click that thumbs up button and let me know and if you want to see something similar to this in style of video by clicking that subscribe button you'll get five videos a week one monday through friday there's something similar to this and then i'll talk to you in my next video bye